My name is Paolo Lisboa. I'm a full professor at Liverpool John Moores University in the UK. I was born in Mozambique, Maputo. It was called Lorenzo Marques at the time, a very long time ago, and did all my schooling there. My parents were the first people in their own families to go to university. Myself and my sister uh, finished school. We were able to go abroad to university, and I chose to go to the UK. I studied at the University of Liverpool. Uh, after I graduated, I had pretty good marks, and the university offered me a scholarship to study for a PhD, which I did, in the area of particle physics. My main interest was actually philosophy, natural philosophy, but general philosophy. And I quickly worked out that the area of philosophy that made the most sense to me was natural philosophy, which is also essentially mathematics and physics. And from there onwards, I spent two years working in coal-fired power stations, or rather in a laboratory that services coal-fired power stations, uh, revamping their control systems and looking for new systems to apply and to, and to test. Um, but I really wanted to go back to university because I wanted to spend more time doing research. So I contacted the University of Liverpool again and they let me know there was a job I could apply for and I got that job. So I went back, after doing a degree in particle physics, I went back to the electrical engineering department, which is a different department from the mathematical physics one. Well, the teaching just comes with the territory if you're an academic. So I went back to university primarily because I'm interested in research. But if you're in a UK university, you have to do some teaching as well. Uh, and you have to do some admin as well. So I did that. Uh, but part of what is enjoyable in life is to communicate your knowledge, to, to impart it to others. And in terms of control systems, um, because I had applied them, I understood how valuable and important they were. So I took joy in imparting that knowledge to large groups of students who were going to develop in their careers in the future. LJMU has become my academic home. Uh, it's also enabled me to develop as a professional. Online education is a very sp special thing compared to offline education. People who engage in online education tend to be more mature, uh, which also means that they're more focused in what they want to do. It's a huge vehicle for social transformation. One thing I found through our first year working with UpGrad looking at, is that looking at the marks, quite a lot of uh, the UpGrad students, particularly in the areas that I'm most connected with, data science, uh, are clearly putting an awful lot of effort. In the online system, we don't have the direct feedback and therefore you have to put processes in place to check people's understanding. In online education, you have to teach yourself. You use the materials to teach yourself. And in the end, what you teach yourself is much more robust than what someone else is trying to tell you. I first I was introduced to one of your co-founders, uh, Falcon Kompali, uh, out in Liverpool. And I know that India is renowned for the quality of mathematics and programming. So I thought there's definitely potential there. I always found the crowd to be extremely compliant and very constructive in discussion. So, so far the experience has been very good. Teaching is transformative. So in many ways, although I'm very proud of the research that we've done, in terms of social impact, probably it's the graduates that are the biggest social impact. Upgrad learners get certified by top universities, placement support, one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Upgrad, online programs for working professionals. Raho Ambitious. Learn from the best to stay ahead in your career. No more at upgrad.com.